What happens when one of the strongest humans in the world faces off against the most powerful creature ever? The battle between Netero and Murium is about more than just who's stronger, it's about protecting everyone and deciding the future. The fight takes place in a secret underground arena in NGL Neo Green Life region. Netero, the wise and powerful chairman of the Hunter Association, is ready to fight. On the other side is Mirrodin, the king of the Chimera Ants, who is super strong and smart. For Netero, this battle isn't just about winning, it's about saving humanity from a huge threat. Miriam, however, wants to prove that he's the strongest and learn more about what true power really means. What happens when the best human fighter meets the most evolved creature? Let's learn about Isaac Netero, a man who trained his whole life to be strong, and Miriam, a king who wants to understand the world. Isaac Netero spent his entire life training to become incredibly strong. He developed a special move called the 100 type Guan Yin Buddha Vista, which shows just how much he dedicated himself to his training. Now, as an old man, he faces his greatest challenge, defeating Miriam. Netero knows Miriam is different from anyone he's fought before. Miriam is super powerful and smart, but Netero is ready to give everything he has to protect the world from this new threat. Miriam is the king of the Chimera Ants and was both super strong and smart. He quickly became the leader of his kind, but as he met humans, like a blind girl, Komugi, who plays a game called Gungji, he started to wonder what true strength really is. Miriam begins to think more deeply about power and what it means to be a leader. He's not just fighting Netero to prove he's the strongest. He wants to learn more about the world and what it means to be strong. As the big fight gets closer, both Netero and Miriam think about what they're fighting for. Will Netero's love for the humanity win or will Miriam's quest to understand power lead to something new? Netero is totally focused as he gets ready to face Miriam. He knows that this will be his toughest battle, not just because of Miriam's strength, but because of what it what's at stake, the future of humanity. Netero has spent his life training and making sacrifices, and he's ready to make the ultimate sacrifice if that's what it takes. Netero believes in the strength of the human spirit, and even though Miriam is incredibly powerful, Netero's determination to protect people keeps him strong. Miriam is curious about as he prepares to face Netero. He's never met a human who could really challenge him, so he's interested in Netero's strength. But he's also conflicted because meeting Kamugi has changed how he thinks about power and life. Miriam wants to understand why humans fight so hard, even when the odds are against them. This battle will help him learn more about what it really means to be powerful. Netron and Miriam stand ready to face each other. This isn't just a battle between two strong beings. It's a battle between two different ideas of what strength really is. The future of humanity and the Chimera Ants will be decided by this fight. The fight between Netasaur and Miriam is not just about who's stronger, it's about who's willing to sacrifice the most. The final showdown starts now. The fight begins with Netaro using his special type 100 type Guanyin Buddha Vista. This move is a giant statue with many arms that strikes quickly and powerfully. Miriam with his incredible speed and intelligence dodges and counters each attack learning more about Netero's moves with every second. Netero's attacks are non-stop because he's determined to protect humanity, but Miriam quickly adapts, using his intelligence to anticipate and counter Netero's strikes. The battle was intense, with both fighters showing why they're the best of their kind. Netero's tough decision. As the battle rages on, Netero realizes that Miriam's power is far beyond anything he's faced before. He knows his only chance to win is to use his final move, the Zero Hand, which will use up all his life energy in one massive attack. Netero struggles with the knowledge that using this move will mean the end of his life, but Netero's internal struggle is a as fierce as the battle itself as he weighs the cost of victory against the need to stop Miriam. 
he knows that he knows this will be the moment that defines his legacy and he's determined to make sure his sacrifice isn't wasted miriam's great power miriam's power is overwhelming and his confidence in his own superiority believes that no human not even Netero, can stand against him but as the battle continues miriam begins to understand her strength isn't just physical it's driven by a deep desire to protect humanity the battle between Netero and Miriam isn't just like ideas about what real strength is. Miriam believes in the power of evolution and dominance, while Netero believes in sacrifice and protection. This fight will decide which idea is stronger. As the battle for the future reaches its peak, Netero faces his toughest challenge. Can he find the strength to defeat Miriam and protect the world, even if it means giving up everything he's fought for? Even as he's, as he's pushed to his limits, Netro's determination remains unbroken. He knows that giving in to Miriam's power would mean abandoning everything he's fought for. Netro's belief in protecting humanity drives him forward, even as Miriam's relentless attacks threaten to overwhelm him. Netro's focus sharpens as the battle intensifies. He knows that this fight isn't just about defeating Miriam, it's about proving that the strength of the human spirit can overcome even the greatest challenges. Miriam's attacks grow more intense with every passing moment. His desire to understand Netero's resolve fuels his every move. While Miriam respects Netero's abilities, he's determined to prove that his vision of evolution and dominance is the true path to strength. The duel becomes a battle of wills as much as a battle of skill, with both fighters refusing to back down. Miriam is confident that his vision of power is the right one and he fights with everything he has. Despite Miriam's overwhelming power, Netro makes a final stand. His belief in sacrifice and protection give him the strength to keep fighting. Even when the odds seem impossible, Netro knows that this duel isn't just about survival, it's about proving that the ideals of humanity can win against the forces of evolution and destruction. The tension builds as Netro prepares to use his ultimate move, the Zero Hand. Determined to end the battle, the stakes are higher than ever as Netro fights to uphold his principles while facing a powerful opponent. The final blow will decide the fate of the world. Will humanity's ideals win or will a new kind of power take over? The moment of truth has arrived. As the battle reaches its final moments, Netro's determination and resolve make all the difference. With the power of Zero Hand, Netro unleashes a massive attack that uses all his life energy, hitting Miriam with incredible force. But even this isn't enough to kill Miriam completely. He survives, but he's badly injured. In his final act of defiance, Netro activates a secret weapon called the Poor Man's Rose, a small nuclear bomb hidden in his chest. The explosion devastates the battlefield, causing serious damage to Miriam and leave behind a toxic residue that will eventually lead to his death. Netro's sacrifice isn't just about winning the battle, it's about a powerful statement about how far the human spirit will go to protect what's important. His final act shows that he was willing to give up everything to protect humanity. Miriam, fatally injured by the poor man's rose, reflects on his battle with Netro and what he's learned about strength and leadership. As he spends his final moments with Kamubi, the girl who showed him the value of humanity, Miriam realizes that true strength isn't about power. It's about compassion, sacrifice, and the connections between people. Miriam's defeat ends his reign as the Chimera Ant King, but it also changes his understanding of the world. His final moments show how much Netoro's sacrifice has affected him and the lasting impact of their battle. After the battle, the world begins to recover as the threat of the Khmer ants is finally over. Netro's sacrifice is honored by the Hunters Association, and he's remembered as one of the greatest warriors of all time. Even though they've lost their leader, the Hunters continue to protect the world, inspired by Netro's example. The final moments give a sense of hope and renewal as humanity starts to rebuild knowing that Netro's ultimate sacrifice has ensured their survival. Battle for humanity's future is over, but Netro's legacy lives on. His determination to protect the world has triumphed. But as the dust settles, the question remains, can the ideals of sacrifice and compassion guide humanity in a world where power often rules? 
In the end, Neto's victory isn't just about his strength, it's about his unwavering belief in the power of sacrifice and protection. Neto has shown that even in a world full of conflict, the ideals of humanity can lead to victory. As Miriam faces the consequences of his defeat, the world reflects on the impact of his reign and the lessons learned from his downfall. The characters reflect on the importance of compassion and the dangers of unchecked power. The battle between Netro and Miriam wasn't just a physical fight, it was a clash of ideas that will have a lasting impact on the future of both humanity and the Chimera Ants. Netro's victory wasn't just a win in battle, but a testament to the power of sacrifice and the importance of staying true to one's principles. The final reflection leaves the audience with respect for Netro and a hope that despite the challenges ahead, the world can be guided by the ideals of sacrifice and compassion that he represented.